everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton, and if you're new to our channel, hello. My name is Mai, this is Herky right here, this is Milton. Today I wanted to do a video about their different personalities, so it's a little get to know Herky and Milton better. I'm probably gonna call this video Herky versus Milton because although they look pretty similar, they are in fact very different. And this is just to show you that all dogs, even if they're the same breed, can have different personalities. And I really enjoy the fact that they're different because it makes them unique, and I do appreciate every difference or similarity that they have. By the way, if you like the t-shirt that I'm wearing, it says I'd rather be with my dog. It's from our new collection, Cavology. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave the information you need to know in the description box below. But basically, it's our new t-shirt line. It's been very well received so far, so thank you all for your support. So if you want to find out a little more about Herky and Milton, getting to know them better, then just keep watching. So, the biggest difference between Herky and Milton, as you can imagine, is their size. And although they are both purebred cavaliers, their size is pretty different. Herky is 17 pounds right now, and she was, at one point, 23 pounds. And I'm really not proud of that, and I'll probably be making a video about Herky's weight loss journey at some point but she's at a very healthy weight now and we're really happy with how she looks now but at some point she was really heavier and Milton on the other hand is pretty different because she is just about 11 and a half pounds and she has a hard time keeping the weight on so it's a bit the opposite problem of Herky. Herky can gain weight pretty easily but Milton has a hard time putting weight on but she's proportional and the vet says she's super healthy she just has a smaller frame and that's how she is we just love them both as they are and physically what they have different as marking is that Herky's very distinctive trait is that when you look at her from behind she actually has one leg that's brown and one leg that's white I think that's really cute she also has a little beauty mark I call it on her nose and I think that's adorable she had that little marking ever since she was a baby Milton overall has more white and on her back she has a big brown patch in the middle of her back and we like to call that her little island it's super cute and you can also distinguish them because the white marking behind their eyes is different as well Milton's is larger than Herky's Herky's is really Really close together and what Milton has also is little beauty marks on her lips so now as far as temperament so as they are different physically their temperament is also very different I'll start with Herky by saying that she's a pretty submissive and introverted and very not dominant kind of dog uh, maybe it's our fault not socializing her when she was younger, but she really prefers humans over dogs. She's very shy in general when we go on walks and we see other dogs. She'll usually shy away from them. And on the opposite, Milton is more of an extrovert. She's more dominant in personality, especially with Herky. I don't know if that's only because she's a little sister, but when we go on walks and we see other dogs, she'll usually be the one that wants to sniff the other dog. I'd say overall, Herky is more of a daddy's girl and Milton is more of a mommy's girl. Milton just always wants to be with me and on my lap. And whenever my husband's on the couch, then Herky will usually go on him rather than with me. But you know, we both love them equally and I'm sure they, they love us both. They just have a tendency to go more towards one or the other. Another thing that's really funny is that Herky usually does not like to be cuddled and kissed. She'll usually just like to get pet and she wants to cuddle on her own terms. So whenever you're on the couch or you're doing something, she'll go up to you and if she wants something, then she'll start pawing you and she's the master of pawing. If she wants something, she's gonna paw you until you give it to her and it can be pretty annoying, but she's persistent for that. Whereas Milton is usually much more cuddly. She loves kisses. She loves to cuddle up and snuggle up. You can take her whenever you want, especially with me. And I can just take her whenever I want and she'll just cuddle up with me. She also loves getting kisses. Like she'll let me hold her like this and kiss her and do whatever I want with her. Whereas if Herky, I try to take her, See, she usually pushes her face away and she doesn't let me kiss her or get really close. She always pushes her face away and she doesn't like to get really close. Also, another personality trait that's super different from both of them is that 
Milton is very possessive and very intuitive in a way that when she wants something, she'll try all her might to get it herself. So she'll scratch and she'll try to dig and whenever she smells something, she'll try to get it herself. Whereas Herky is much more of a crybaby. She's very emotionally intelligent and she knows that when she cries or when she asks for something, then we'll usually get it for her. So she's more lazy in a way because she just, whenever she wants something, she'll just cry or paw you so that you do it for her. As far as sleeping patterns, how they're different, they usually sleep pretty much on the same schedules, but their sleeping positions are pretty different. Even right now, you can see how they're sleeping. Herky likes to sleep very straight out. Like her legs are completely spread out right now and she looks, we call that the Superman sleep and she loves to sleep like that and you know she's very comfortable when she's just like stretched out like that. Whereas Milton much prefers sleeping in a ball. So she'll curl up like a little cat and when she sleeps on my lap she'll curl up exactly in the hole of my legs and you can even pick her up like that like a little donut and she'll just stay like that. So when they sleep what they usually require is somewhat different as well. Herky she usually prefers to be alone either on the couch or in their dog bed. She loves couches. She usually spends her days there whereas Milton prefers to be either on my lap or snuggled up right up to Herky. Like she Wherever Herky is usually, she'll go there and even if it's super tight, she'll just make her way into Herky's nook and just cram up the entire place. Either that or she'll always ask to be on my lap. When I work at home or when they go with me to the office, Milton usually spends all day on my lap. So as far as their fears, they also fear oddly different things. Herky, as I mentioned, is more fearful, so she usually gets really anxious when there's other dogs. When we go to the dog park, she'll usually get very anxious and salivate a lot. So I would say what she fears most is other dogs. Whereas Milton is sort of like naive little sister, I would say, because she fears noises <laughs> and usually when she hears odd noises she'll start barking and whenever Herky barks and she has no idea why Herky is barking then she will also bark just because Herky is barking so I feel like she's very much more of a pack animal and whenever Herky does something then she'll do something as well. What they love to chew most I would say for Herky as you may know are toilet paper rolls or as we like to call them cones. Uh, she usually cries in the morning a lot of days per week when she sees a toilet paper roll because she wants that and she just loves to shred toilet paper rolls. I don't know why, but she loves it. Whereas Milton, her absolute favorite thing ever to chew are bully sticks. Whenever we don't exercise her enough, so whenever she has too much pent up energy, I swear every night she'll stand in front of the closet and just bark and growl and ask for her bully stick. And she knows it's there and she'll just always want that every single night. They also have a lot of bad habits and their bad habits are also very different. Herky is very nasty and her bad habit is that whenever we go on walks or we're outside, she'll eat everything she finds on the floor and it's so disgusting because I swear she eats poop. She eats bird poop, she eats rabbit poop, she eats other dogs poop, it's disgusting. She eats dirty Kleenex, she eats gum on the floor, she eats everything. So it's very hard to actually take her on a walk because we need to literally look at her feet. When we walk, we look at whatever she's doing all the time. We can't just enjoy a walk because she'll pick up anything she finds. And not only is it gross, but it's also dangerous because we never know what she eats sometimes. And whenever we walk downtown or somewhere that is usually more crowded, there's a lot of garbage and stuff and the other day she actually picked up chicken wing bones and that can actually be very harmful if ever she chews it and she actually did swallow some but she's fine. Knock on wood that it won't be anything really bad but that's her worst bad habit. Milton's worst bad habit is that she's so annoying to Herky. Honestly, she's the sweetest angel to humans and to us. But to Herky, she's such a little pest sometimes. She just always wants to bite Herky. She bites her ears. I mean, Herky used to have like long, beautiful ears before Milton came along. And then Milton comes along and now her ears are super short. There's super sparse hair on her ears. Herky is usually very traumatized when we walk because she, she's always looking at Milton like this. Say, are you, are you gonna bite me again? Are you gonna bite me again? Milton would just bark in her ear, just jump on her all the time. Like, don't get me wrong, they do play with each other at times but most of the time I feel like her he just wants to chill and be left alone and Milton just always needs to bug her. 
always. A little quirk that's cute about them is that Herky, whenever usually you get home from somewhere or in the morning when she's still a little sleepy and she wants to get some love, she'll usually push her face in your legs or in your knees so that you pet her. It's super adorable and she'll push really really hard so that you pet her. I think that's super sweet and it's whenever she wants some love. And Milton's little quirk, if you follow us on Instagram, then you'll know we update on there daily and we story all the time. So if ever you are not following us on Instagram, our handle is at Herky the Cavalier. So Milton, as you know, when she's excited about something or when she wants something, she'll actually turn on herself and we call that little helicopter. She'll just jump, 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 jump and bark at the same time. And that will usually happen either when she's hungry and she wants some food or she wants you to get her a treat or a bully stick. And as far as eating habit, they're also pretty different because Herky, as you can imagine, since she eats poop, she's very not difficult with food and she'll eat just about anything. Whereas Milton is a bit fussier, she has, I feel, a pretty acidy stomach. She needs to eat at about uh, every eight hours or so in order to not vomit and in the morning when her stomach is getting more acidic She is a little bit more fussy with her food She'll also take her time sometimes and just drag on her breakfast for like 15 minutes and it's really Annoying because the herky is just done and she's trying to move on with her day And she's just watching Milton's bowl of food and Milton is just like over there scratching her face and taking her time and growling at her So their feeding schedule is kind of different and Milton usually likes smaller pieces of food she gets she's like a lazy chewer or something with her when it comes to her food it seems because when they're bigger pebbles she is usually slower to eat and in the morning she's super slow so that sums it up for now i hope that gives you a good insight about how similar but how different at the same time herky and milton are if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and maybe we can do a part two i have so many anecdotes i can tell you about herky and milton so if you like this i could do another video and share some more with you so i hope you're subscribe to our channel and if you're not please do so and don't forget to hit the notification bell because even if you're subscribed it doesn't mean you'll always see our videos so if you do hit that notification bell then you'll be sure to not miss any of our videos so thank you so much for watching we love you and we'll see you soon bye